Whether you're a brand new youth flag football coach or you're looking for an edge, you got to get your hands on Coach D's Complete Coach Package. It is by far my most popular item yet. It'll give you everything you need to crush it this season as a complete coach, including all my playbooks, all my drill packs, 200 plays, 35 drills, 32 age-based practice schedules, and more. Go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com, click on the complete coach package, and get yours today. And make sure you subscribe to the Flag Football with Coach D YouTube channel so you never miss a video on defense, offense, plays, and more. Everything you need to crush it as a coach. Now let's jump into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D, and today we are back. It's been a long time since we've thrown together a video, but today is, is Flag Football Sunday, and I've got tons of teams playing out here for national flag football. Thought I'd come out here and show you the wrist. You know, one of the most popular videos we've had is where we took you inside some of our plays. So let me do that for you right now. Now, this, uh, this season, I've got my son and my niece playing on the same team, sixth through eighth grade. So let me just show you, we're gonna go through one formation that we are using right now. And what that formation is very simply is where we have a split back with a shotgun. So what I've done here is I've laid it out here for you on the field. And then we're just gonna run through a couple of these plays so you know exactly what that looks like out here on the field. Now, look, if you want to grab one of these that has all of the plays for certain age groups, just go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. These are the exact plays that we are using out here on the field. And you can simply print them out and they fit right here into the wristband. Look at that. You can get 24 plays right like that. But this is not a sales video, this is a coaching video. Let me show you how this works. If I look at number one here. So number one is, all right, well, I'm gonna have B and A right next to the quarterback. And let's look at the spacing. How far away are they? And then I'm gonna fake to B and hand to A. How would I do that? Let me show you. All right, now what I like to do is I like to have my quarterback about five yards back. And what we usually do is we have each of these running backs, right? We have B and we have A about arms width apart. So I have the quarterback do one of these, right? And then both of the, the running backs do the same thing. And that's about how far they go. So let me show you. About five yards back, we both put our hands out like this, right? And now we're ready to go. And what's gonna happen right now is on number one, I have a B fake. So right away, when I get my hands on the ball, right when I say, ready, go, I get the ball, I want B to already be right here in front of me. So it's, if I'm the quarterback, I get the ball, B immediately comes right in front of me, takes a nice quick fake handoff, and then seconds later, A is going to come right behind him. So the defense is a little thrown off. They think maybe B has it, so they're chasing B that way, but really A gets it on the other way. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a nice quick fake, right? Has to go, you know, I always say at speed, right? Come on, at the speed of the game, like right away, right away, boom. So they get that fake handoff and they are running as if they have the ball. So B, you need to make sure you're faking right away, okay? And then A comes right across. All right. Another thing that's very important is we have our wide receiver here. Now, uh, on number one, I have my wide receiver on this side. Now, I'm going to pop them out quite a bit, okay? Because I want them to take a defender with them. Whether they're doing uh, zone or man-to-man, -man, I want them to take that, that defender away so that everything is happening right here. Now, the next one, same thing. It's just a different, right? Now, A is going to fake first then B comes in, right? <laughs> right away, okay, easy. Now here's the next part. Now what we do is what's called progressions. So let me show you what a progression looks like. Where I, I have the same look. That means the, the offense is set up the exact same way. I have my quarterback, I have my two running backs on side to side, 
Okay, split back formation, lined up with the, the quarterback. I do the same thing for the rest of these plays. Look at these, all eight plays are the exact same setup. But now what's gonna happen is I go one, two, three. They don't know who I'm gonna hand it off to. So I do a fake to both of them, boom, boom. And then I give A the quick throw on what we call the flat out here right across the line of scrimmage. So I faked it to both. They're kind of like, who's gonna get it? Boom, I throw the ball out there, okay? Now what we're seeing is on number four, now I'm doing a fake, but I've got a fly going out to C right here. So I've got fake, fake, boom. And then the next play, I could just call number two again and hand it off. So that's what a progression is all about. You want the same exact look the same exact formation, and then all of a sudden, you switch it up without them even knowing. That puts the defense on their heels. Now, then you get some nice, fun trickery, where is, if I see number five, here's what I'm gonna do on number five. I'm actually going to hand it to B, and that's what we call a run-pass option. When I do a run-pass option, let me show you that. I'm the quarterback. I've done this, I've got B on this side. Here's what's about to happen. When I get the ball, ready, go. I'm gonna give it to B. B takes it. B can either run or what's on the, the wrist, what's on the play is they get the ball and they see the quarterback because here's what happens with the quarterback. Once the quarterback hands it off, immediately they go out for a pass. They pass the line of scrimmage and they're open for a pass. That messes with the defense all day long. So, number five is very simple. Ready, go. Hands off to, to B. B can either run or if they see a wide open player, they can throw it. They can throw it to the quarterback, right? That's called a run pass option. So it goes very quick. Ready, go. Pass, like hand off right away. It's almost like, wait, who's the quarterback? Wait, can they run? Can they pass? No. So when you're looking, at your plays, always design one that has an RPO. RPO is run pass option. Because once you hand it off, now that person can become a quarterback. They don't have to run. They can, if they see somebody down the field, they can throw that ball, right? So that's what number five looks like to us. See, then you, you go away from the cross fake handoffs. See all these cross? right, where the, where the running back is gonna go right in front of you, right? Then you switch it up to, you know what? I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna have them run straight ahead. Let's have them run straight ahead. So number six is just this. Ready, go. Fake handoff here. I see a nice quick post over the top. It's a quick release. Like, you know, you know who it is. Like Tom Brady's really great at this. Joe Burrow's doing a lot of this. But ready, go, handoff right over the top. I've got C running a nice quick either in or they could do a post long. Ready, go, quick. Mm. Right. So A is just running straight ahead. Instead of coming across here, they're just going straight ahead. I'm ready, right away. All in the same formation. So with this exact formation, I've got a center, I've got my quarterback, I've got B and I've got A and then I've got a wide receiver either on this side or on this side, and they're popped out. The wide receivers are popped out, so you're, you're spreading the defense, right? You're spreading the defense. You want your, your wide receiver out like 10 yards. Go, all right? And so that is just a taste of what we're doing for our six through eight. That's what you get. Yep, you can even play the center in there. A lot of times if you do just a quick, they call that a hook. So the center just runs straight ahead, just runs straight out like this, and it's just right here, just waiting for it. Boom, quick reception, right? If you're looking for a nice uh, quick first down or end zone, something like that, you could just have, you know, just a quick hook pattern. That just means they go out, they turn around, boom, right there. So you got a lot of crazy things going on, but it all starts from the same formation. So I tell you, if you want to take your game to the next level, all you have to do is pick one formation. We just did eight plays in this one formation. 
With the older kids, I like to do shotgun. I like to spread out the wide receivers. I like to spread out the, the uh, running backs at least arm length uh, away. And I like to do a lot of misdirection. So that the, they're, they're thinking, wait a second. Okay, it's definitely gonna go to this guy. Nope, and I switch it up every single time. You do that and you'll succeed. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Subscribe, you'll click. All that good stuff. Look at this. You got you got players just all over the place. That is what we do. Real life action. So subscribe, comment, share, do everything that you like to do. We are here for you. If you want a playbook, go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. We've got everything there for you. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.